So I've had, a, uh, in terms of response, a very favorable impression of a fatinib uh, in the patients that I have used it on. And not every patient gets a fatinib in my practice. Uh, but for those that I've used it, um, uh, the drug works quite well. Um, toxicity is another issue and something that we have to keep in mind uh, when we're delivering a fatinib for our patients. It tends to come with more side effects and we have to be cognizant and mindful of those side effects uh, as we treat our patients. But in terms of the, its effect, I, I've been, in, I've been uh, pleased with the way that a fatinib has worked. I've been pleased with the way all of these drugs uh, have worked. Um, uh, first generation or second generation TKS have worked uh, for our patients uh, with EGFR mutant lung cancer. So I think the concern I have with a fatinib has been the, the toxicities in the grade 3, 4 AEs as they relate to two. One is um, uh, rash and the other is diarrhea. Uh, and every patient's a little different in the way that they, uh, in the way they experience these AEs to a fatinib. Um, uh, many of my patients do have to get a dose reduction of a fatinib, and many of my patients I start at 30 rather than 40. Um, but we've seen, you know, our experience with a fatinib has mirrored the data, and that is that this drug, while effective, uh, does have some toxicities that you have to keep in mind. Those toxicities may be a little bit more than we see with first or second generation TKI. Yeah, I think the, the, it's important that treatment decisions be individualized for our patients with EGFR mutant lung cancer uh, and, and really weighing the benefits of a drug versus the risks. Um, I think second generation TKIs potentially and theoretically have more uh, effect in terms of response but come at the cost of toxicity. So this really factors in into my treatment decisions for patients. Uh, for a very fit patient who has a, a, a deletion 19 mutation, I will consider a fatinib. Uh, I may start them at 40 uh, or even 30, but be ready to dose reduce. For my older patients in which toxicity is more of a concern, uh, for those patients perhaps over the age of 65 or have a, a waning performance status, uh, I will consider more commonly the first generation TKIs like, like Erlotinib or Jafitinib. Uh, for, for patients that are elderly, have comorbidities, um, who, are, who are eligible for targeted therapies, uh, I will generally uh, offer them Jafitinib. I, I've had some experience with this and have good results. I think what we know about Jafitinib is, is this drug tends to have the, the least toxic AE uh, profile. And for those patients in which I'm concerned about toxicity, I will use Jafitinib or even start uh, uh, with on Erlotinib at 100 milligrams. But, but generally for those patients with comorbidities who are elderly where I'm worried about toxicity, I will use Jafitinib. I think this is, th these are patients where uh, fatinib should probably be uh, avoided.